WikiLeaks says Russia is not behind all of this. Some are not buying that. The Philadelphia Inquirer editorial board even asked whose side is Trump on? Here now is Paul Davies. He's deputy editorial page editor of that paper. And so, Paul, thanks a lot for joining us today. So you all um, wrote this pretty florid editorial today, excoriating Trump for not taking this seriously. This was an attack on our democracy, uh, on a free and fair election. Um, how do you know exactly that Russia was behind this? Well, the President Obama has announced it, and the intelligence communities have said that that was their, that was their assessment. But they haven't offered any actual proof of it, and most of the accounts we've received about how they know this have been anonymous, anonymously sourced. So, I mean, as a journalist, are you comfortable taking at face value the assurances of anonymous government officials about something that's important? Well, it's not just the it's not just the president and the intelligence community. I mean, Senator McCain, Senator McConnell, they've also come out. They they've seen they've heard the briefings. I obviously haven't heard the briefings. I, right. I don't think the president would be taking actions or issuing sanctions against Russia or ki kicking Russians out of the country if he wasn't pretty sure about the evidence. Okay, so you just have faith that the president would not have a political motivation to do this, that nobody involved would have any other motive, that they all must be telling the truth. Is that what the you're president, saying? The uh, president, they, they talked about this back in September. It's not before the election. There was e before the election, there was even talk about the Russians being involved in, in the hacking. Right. So, I mean, they were mad, of course, because emails from the DNC were leaked uh, to WikiLeaks somehow, and then emails from John Podesta's uh, personal Gmail account were leaked, and some of those yeah. details were embarrassing. And I think it's on the sure. basis of that that people are saying this election was hacked. So which of those facts that fell into the public view do you think Americans shouldn't have known before they voted in November? I mean, the, the, the troubling point and the point of the editorial was um, that the, if there's hacking going on and it's interfering with our elections and, and another country is doing that, that's, that's a problem. That's a problem that undermines our, right. our democracy. And the point is, if, if President-elect Trump is just sort of shrugging it off and telling everybody to move on and it's not a big issue, that's, that's that is the troubling aspect. And the right. point is, we should have the hearings and we should get to the bottom of what happened. Yeah. And as well, much I'm, I'm that can that, be disclosed, I, should be disclosed. I, I agree with you on um, the fact that the assessment, the, the, if, but the I, fact that the intelligence communities have said this, okay, the, but, the intelligence but, communities have released this information. And I don't think they just go out and just release stuff and provoke a country uh, just over politics. I, that doesn't, that strikes right, yeah, me that's, as very that's never strange. happened before. I mean, come on. But let me okay. just ask you this. You said everything. I mean, I agree with you. I want to know more. We all do. But you said this affected our election. And I'm not exactly sure how. Are you suggesting that the voting machines themselves were rigged? Or are you, are you referring to those emails? Uh, uh, and if you are referring no, to the emails, are you saying that we shouldn't have seen those before we voted? If it influenced the election and caused people to, to vote one way or the other, that's, that, that's the impact of what happened. That they're but, trying but to how? get in how and did set that the election. people to vote? How did that happen? I mean, you're making this allegation. People, Explain how it happened. If, if people think that uh, because after they read those emails that somehow they're influenced to vote one way or the other, then it influences their vote. I mean, I don't have uh, a, a document that says, you know, right. 10 percent of the people voted for Trump or uh, didn't or voted against Clinton because of that. Right. No, no it's speculation. But so you're saying that you wish those emails the as point, a journalist. The point you, is, no, hold on. This is an important point. This is the point. Are you saying you wish those emails had not gone into the public sphere, that we hadn't seen those emails, that we had less information when we voted. Is that what you're saying? That, that has nothing, that's not what we said at all in the editorial. I mean, well, I'm, I'm, all for having, I'm all for having information out there to find out the public should be fully informed when they go to So why are you upset election. about what happened during the election? We got more information. I'm what I'm upset about is that President, exactly. what I'm upset about is that President Trump, President-elect Trump, it just seems to be blowing the whole thing off and telling everybody to move on. Well, well, and his wait a second. Relationships and connections to Russia and his friendship with the, the his appointment to the Secretary of State and other friends that he's appointed and his ties and his and his 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 positive assessment for Putin is what's troubling. That's the okay, part. That's, I, 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 get, I get that you don't like Putin and you don't like Trump, but, but you said, and I'm reading your editorial right here, you said, instead of standing up for the bedrock of U.S. democracy, dash, free and fair elections, and then you said Trump has yeah. a cavalier attitude regarding Russia's efforts to undermine American democracy. And I just want to get right to the nub of what you are saying. How exactly, specifically, 
did they prevent that from being a free and fair election? How did they undermine our democracy by telling if, us things that you think we should hacking, have known? Yeah. Yeah, if they're hacking into the computer systems and releasing information that influences our elections, that's troubling. Okay, so let me ask you the last question. If you could go back and undo that, would you do so? Would you make it so American voters didn't know the information they got from the WikiLeaks emails? I, w I don't think the, the, a foreign country should be meddling in our in our. You're elections. not answering my question. I mean, that, regardless of what information is out, uh, hacking what, that is the point. That is the main point. Do you point. think it was a good thing or a bad thing that we knew that information before we voted? I, I mean, it depends on where you're coming from. You know, if, if you want to know that information. How about as a not, voter? I don't know. Yeah. As a voter, is it, a good, is it better or worse to have that information? Having all your information is, is what you want from a voter, but having it hacked by okay. a foreign well, government go. is not what you want. So you like the ends but not the means? I don't, I don't want a foreign com country hacking into uh, any information in our elections and, okay. and a president-elect just blowing it off like it's not a big deal. All right. I'm still having trouble understanding your argument, but thank you for the game attempt. I appreciate it. Paul, Okay. see ya. Well, will we ever be able to see anything from the Russia investigation, or would it all remain classified? Fox News Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harridge is here with the answer. Catherine, great to see you. Well, thank you, Tucker. So we had this report last week from Homeland Security and FBI, which was really kind of thin in terms of the data that included about Russia, but it did identify two computer viruses, sort of phishing schemes to get information. Now, that is not a direct link to Russia, but these are... Um, viruses, if you will, that are often used by the Russian intelligence services. Okay. My information is that there's a lot more intelligence beyond what was released last week. And the question for the intelligence community is how much of that will be declassified in order to make their case more publicly that there is this link, that it was directed by the Russian government. Now, to answer your first question in sort of a roundabout way, <laughs> The president has asked for a more extensive report, and our expectation is that a version of that will be declassified sometime before the 20th. So what to watch for there is whether there really is evidence of intent and motivation by the hackers, because that's the kind of intelligence that requires a human source or what's called an electronic intercept, like picking up a phone call. So this is a very high threshold of information to have, number one, and number two, it would be highly unusual for the U.S. government to declassify that kind of information. Hmm. And why, why would they do so? In this well, case? if you wanted to make the case that there really is that solid link to the Russian government and that it was directed by those around Putin and Putin himself, you would have to have very high quality intelligence. Yes. And that's not always the intelligence that belongs to us. It can belong to our foreign partners, so it's right. not really ours to disclose. And the Russians play a game, and we've seen it in the past, where they may deny being responsible for something, and they do it in an effort to force our hand to release information to satisfy the American people or others, uh, you know, our allies right. in general, right? But when that happens, you burn the source and you burn the method, and that's really to Russia's advantage. So it's a real balancing act. But again, the thing to watch is intent and motivation because that is the kind of intelligence that requires a human source right. or picking up a phone call and that's very hard to get and you also have to be very reluctant to burn that source for the future. This is why the Russians are such good chess players. Yes. I think. Exactly. <laughs> Catherine Harridge, great welcome. to see you yeah, as thank always. You.